Hey, Wink News anchor Claire Galt is live on the island for us now. Claire, you spent the whole day there. What'd you find? Hey, Chris and Lois, right now I am on Fairview Boulevard. It's a street that has a lot of single story homes that saw significant uh, flooding last night. Here you can see this homeowner has brought just about everything that was in the house uh, into the driveway here. They've got mattresses, beds, couches, chairs, sofa, a dresser. And this is really what we found as we drove across the beach today. Neighbors just trying to get some of that water out of their house, trying to start that process of rebuilding. Neighbors like Alan Hudson. Alan Hudson watched this security camera footage last night with knots in his stomach. He was on the East Coast in Fort Lauderdale as Helene's surge flooded his home. Watching the camera, seeing it get three feet high last night, that had to make you anxious. What did it make you feel like? Sick. Makes you feel sick, you know, because you know you got a lot of stuff to fix. You know, takes a long time to fix it back. When the floodwaters went down and all that was left was mud, Hudson rushed to his home on Estero Boulevard. So right here, he's saying, is the mud mark of how high uh, it got. He said he watched on the cameras. He saw three feet. If we go down to the ground here, you can see all yeah, of this, this soupy, as he called it, yeah. uh, sludgy mud here on the ground. Need your boots, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, let's walk over here. Wow, you can see uh, all of this debris, sand. Down the road, Barbara Manley was cleaning up her home on Gulfview Avenue, laying her wet clothes on the driveway and cleaning off her furniture. How are you doing right now? Oh, we're just going day to day right now, hour to hour. Okay, so we can see that there was some flooding in here, a lot of that sludge. Uh, they're getting some of that water out right now. Right now, I think we're on like autopilot, where we're just yeah. trying to get everything done. And once in a while, you have to deal with the insurance companies and those not paying for things and the time that it takes for everything to get done, which is going to happen again here, just like in Ian. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I think it's all going to probably come as the days go. Same with Ian. We got here last time, hit, you know, just went to town and then it hit later. Barbara told me recovery will be scary. That's why she's thankful for her neighbor, Betty, who came by to comfort her. That's the one thing that that's come from this storm. We've all become a much closer neighborhood. In fact, my neighbors right away said to me when they got here, if you have anything you need help with that you can't handle alone, let me know. I have a grandson here helping me. Aww. So I'm not alone. Neighbors helping neighbors. We saw it after Hurricane Ian, and we saw it again as we drove around the beach today. Now stick with us because coming up still in this hour, you can watch my full interview with Alan as he walks me through his home to see all of the damage, and he tells me how he plans to start rebuilding. I'm live on Fort Myers Beach. Claire Galt, Wink News.